All right, so congratulations, Hallie Wilson from Foothill, the Player of the Year this year for Orange County. And uh, we were just talking about how you guys had an amazing season this year, one of the best offenses I think we've seen in Orange County in a long time. And you were the lead outfitter for that team. Um, talk about what that was like playing for Foothill this year. Well, it was a really good year, and we had to come back strong since last year was kind of slow for us. And um, we hit every day, and we worked really hard to get our at-bats in the game. and just hit the ball. And like we were also talking about, you guys missed the playoffs last year, come back this year, win the CV League title, and do really well in Division I. Um, that had to be a great feeling to be a part of that, getting Foothill back on track. Yeah, it felt really good just to actually make it, and um, our seniors really helped, and juniors, everybody, everybody was involved in winning the league and just hitting the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, you're a leadoff hitter, and you had eight homers. I mean, what's that about? You're not supposed to be hitting home runs as a leadoff hitter. I don't know, just in the ball, just see it. <laughs> and uh, uh, also, you're only a sophomore, and you've already committed to Arizona, and that's one of the big time programs in college softball. Uh, yeah. Tell me about that. Why, why did you uh, choose so early? Uh, did you just want to get it, you know, over and done with, or what was the reason? Well, it was never really a rush for me to get it out of the way, but. Me and my dad, we always knew that U of A was like a top part, um, a big a dream school, you know, and yeah. and we really just pursued it, and we never really talked about it, but we knew that if they wanted me, then I wanted to go there. So when the opportunity came, we had to jump on it. It was just out of mind. That's yeah. where we wanted to go anyway. Exactly. Okay. And uh, let's see, talk about some of your, your teammates. Uh, you got some great hitters on that team, uh, Taylor Cantillo, Jacqueline Edwards, uh, I mean, name all the other girls. That's we got great. a ton of bats on our team. Um, yeah, Taylor, Jacqueline, Emily Kerner, mm -hmm. Christine Erickson, just everybody. Kara Warden. Everybody just works together just to hit the ball and score some runs. I think that El Toro game, I, I couldn't even name somebody that didn't get a hit in that championship I game. <laughs> I don't think you could. <laughs> yeah. And uh, let's see now, uh, going into next year, what are some of the goals for, uh, for you as a player, for the team? What, what are you thinking about next year? Well, as a team, I think we just want to win it all. We want to take it all the way to the championships and just keep making Foothill that type of, that top priority again and have the little girls that, that go to the Tustin, play rec ball, want to go there and want to keep playing. So we were you one of those little girls? That, that Definitely. <laughs> we followed the newspapers and everything. And Who were the players that you looked up to? I'm guessing Caitlin Lowe. Caitlin Lowe, Erin <laughs> <laughs> Mobley, all those girls. Right on. And you, you guys don't even lose that many players, right? You're going to have almost no, the whole team yeah. back. We're only losing three, and I think we have some good freshmen that are going to come up next year, and we're going to be pretty good again. Well, right on. Well, congratulations again, and thanks a Thank lot, Thank you. All right.